Hi, this is Eben of Kaiser. I'll discuss the role of an incident manager in this presentation. Let's look at the agenda for today's presentation. Today I will provide a snapshot of the incident management process, discuss the role of an incident manager in general, and then I'm going to specifically discuss about the role of the incident manager during major incidents. So I'm going to cover these three things only today. Let's take a quick look at the incident management process. An incident is defined as an unplanned interruption or reduction in the quality of IT service. Let's say you are unable to print documents on your printer as you have run out of ink cartridges. Then this interruption to your print service can be called as an incident. The management of such outages is the essence of incident management process. The purpose of the incident management process is to restore the normal service as quickly as possible and to minimize the business impact. In the case of the print services, IT department could temporarily provide you an option to print documents from another printer while you wait on the procurement of ink cartridges to go through. What is important during resolution is that you are able to print documents whether you print it from your preferred printer or another is immaterial. Incidents can be reported either by end users, tools such as monitoring systems and even the technical support staff can log in incidents when they are able to identify one. The person who is responsible for smooth functioning of the incident management process is the incident manager. We are going to learn plenty about him today. Let's take a look at the role of an incident manager in general. The incident manager is tasked with ensuring that the documented incident management process is followed by everybody who comes under the scope, like the technical support teams, service desk, suppliers, and the incident manager himself. An incident manager produces incident reports and other management reports as required by the process. He also keeps a tab on the defined KPIs and publishes KPI reports as well. Incident manager needs to check the pulse of the incident management process to assess its effectiveness and to identify improvements. On a regular basis, he must audit the process controls, whether all the parties who come under the process are adhering to the process or not. Although most companies have a quality person doing this activity, according to IDIL, it is one of the responsibilities of the incident manager. Now let's take a look at the role of the incident manager specifically during major incidents. The incident manager plays a critical role during the resolution of major incidents. For starters, all major incidents come to the incident manager for assessment of priority. The incident manager determines the priority of the incident based on the urgency of resolution and the impact that the incident is causing. In today's setup, not all the technical support staff are co-located in a single building. You might have Windows support running out of the Philippines while Unix support is out of India. Data, database could be in the UK while the customer sits and enjoys the service in the US. During a major incident, it is necessary that all the technical support teams come together virtually to work as a team towards service restoration. Let's take a look at how the communication must take place during major incidents. One of the best practices of major incident management is to perform all communication activities through a telephone and not over an email. As you are aware, the communication through telephone is instantaneous, whereas over an email it may not be immediate. The incident manager and his team will be required to call the technical support teams and ask them to join the tech bridge. The incident manager will facilitate the discussion towards incident resolution. He may not be a technical person who can provide solutions, but he is definitely somebody who can call upon the right teams to bring upon their expertise in the resolution of major incidents. 
The focus of the incident bridge is to resolve the incident as quickly as possible and nothing else. I will run a mock bridge discussion in the next slide to showcase what generally happens on an incident bridge and how the incident manager must be geared to tackle such situations. Users are reporting that an application called ABC is down. The incident manager has gathered all the technical teams on a call, including the database and application support teams. The Windows team and the network team have reported that their infrastructure is normal without any anomalies. The database team continues the discussion. It seems that the database has been decommissioned. Are you saying that the database for the application is decommissioned? Yes, it is. Let me check. There was a change performed yesterday to decommission it. App support. Can you confirm if this database was supposed to be decommissioned? No way. It's a production database. How can it be decommissioned? Database support. Can you go ahead and bring the database back online? I want to know why it was decommissioned. It is our main database and we have not asked for a change to be performed on our database. Now is not the right time to dig into things. Are you confirming that this is your production database? Yes, it is. But I want to know why it was decommissioned. Once again, app support, not the right time to ask this question. Let's restore the service first and then look at the reasons behind it later. Database support, can you go ahead and bring it up? In this discussion, the app support is keen on understanding why the database has been decommissioned. The incident manager disregards this line of questioning and instead brings the focus back onto resolution and instructs the database team to perform actions to resolve the incident. The incident manager could have been easily swayed into identifying how the heck a production database got decommissioned, but instead keeps his steady head towards incident resolution. When there are major incidents running, incident managers send out timely updates to senior management and to the customer. This activity may sound as a fairly administrative one, but it isn't. Senior management and customers panic whenever there are major impacts. A good crisp communication will calm their nerves in understanding that the teams are working on the issue and not sitting on it. The incident manager will also lend his knowledge to the problem management team in their efforts to identify their root cause. I must make one thing clear though. The incident manager is not responsible for identifying the root cause but can support in sharing information that he came across during the incident that can potentially help in identifying the root cause. Let's recap what we have learned today. We started with the incident management concepts and then we discussed the role of an incident manager across all priorities of incidents and then specifically we looked at his role during major incidents which included the incident bridge and then we had a mock discussion and then we looked at the role of an incident manager in communicating major incident status. Last, we looked at the role of the incident manager during the problem management process. I hope you liked what you listened to. This is Abhinav Kaiser signing off.